Hi guys! Today we are going to be experimenting with a textile paint. It's a acrylic paint. So I found few colors that I'm gonna be using for my project and I already tested it and I did swatches sorry <laughs> and this is how it looks like so I was testing this paint uh, last weekend and those marks which you can see here this is colors which I was mixing with watercolor and it works really well. So this experiment with watercolor really useful if uh, you have just uh, several uh, colors of acrylics and you can mix uh, with watercolors uh, so you can create new color shades as you can see I was uh, making this color from this color from this light pink and I added some watercolor pigments and I created this color and this color and I also created dark blue color from this uh, acrylic shade this is an original shade as you can see so you can add some water, watercolors and create different shades with your watercolor if you have just a regular uh, watercolor if you interested in what is what kind of watercolor is it so um, I'm gonna be painting uh, the envelope for this uh, new project which I'm uh, doing for my Patreon uh, monthly program and it's also available for the stitching club tier and I also made this PDF available on my Etsy shop so if you want to grab it you can take it there if it's more comfortable for you to purchase my PDF on Etsy shop this is my experience and I think it's successful uh, the only one thing you need to know about those um, uh, paint so you need to activate like fix the color by ironing once once it's dry so you need to wait it until it dries for one or two days and then you iron it and then the color is going to be fixed forever and you can wash it so i actually ironed it and i was washing this piece so all the pigments from watercolors also stays here as you can see um, it's working so I'm gonna be using it for my future projects so let's mix the paint I'm gonna be mixing probably those two colors and probably I will add some pink here and I need three colors so this original color I will use here. You can follow my color map. So this is how the design is gonna look like. So the original color will go here. And here I'm gonna mix pink and this color for this part. And for the darker part, but I'm going to mix a little bit of this and this color. So this is a plan. If you have some questions, you can ask me in the chat. I'm going to use this flat brush. I'm going to took some water and you can add some water to your acrylics. Uh, just a little bit, not too much. So let's start from the original color. This is how the paint looks like. So I'm gonna put a little bit here. And 
then yeah you need to mix it with water for a little bit longer than it's usually for watercolor at least it can make it easier to apply on the fabric this is why i'm doing so my plan is to paint the background for the envelope first and then i will be stitching once is it's dry i already transferred all the design here as you can see so this is transferred using a heating erasable gel pen as i usually do And why I use acrylics right now? I already use it uh, watercolors only on my previous uh, video tutorial for different project. And I decided to go with acrylics this time because it's easier to control the paint on the fabric. With watercolors, as you know, it is a the colors can like ex expand on the fabric and you cannot create a clear edges and stuff like that. So for this object it has sharp edges as you can see so I decided to go with acrylics. And I like it some of the colors, especially this one. And with flat, with this flat uh, brush, you can control how to apply your paint. You can control where is your paint goes and create sharp edges. So I see that it's going to be enough of this uh, color for this part too and uh, it's going to be some pink here left so I will mix it with a pink color and yeah. I'm going to find similar acrylic uh, paint. Uh, if I will not be able uh, to find those, it's made in Ukraine and I'm not sure that it's available worldwide, so I'm gonna look on Amazon, maybe I will find similar acrylic paint, to good quality paint for you, so you will buy for yourself if you want to play with it. Wow, I like this really much i'm really satisfied you know probably uh when it's wet it it looks darker oh this is the original color of this so yeah it looks approximately the same way how it's going to be when it dries if you want to make it lighter you can buy a uh, white acrylic color and mix it with white and in my next live stream i'm gonna go live tomorrow at the same time i'm going to be embroidering those leaves and stems so we will start from the easier part from this design later on thursday i'm gonna go live and with those acrylic painting you can play and maybe you will want to paint the leaves and maybe yeah create this kind of effect and stitch on the outline so it's gonna create a nice and cute uh, mixed media piece of art i really like it i will probably be making a t-shirt for myself um, with this paint and I think any kind of embroidery design that I created is gonna look cool if I will just paint all the background and stitch with only black floss to create just uh, borders and it's gonna give a cool cool effect
I'm gonna wash my brush because I'm gonna dip it into the pink. I forgot to take <laughs> some paper towels as I usually do. So I'm gonna use this piece of fabric. So we are going to apply some pink. Look at this color, I love it. The colors are so cute. You know, I tried to add some more water, so um, it was just experiment and I was trying to create a gradient uh, between two colors like uh, I did it for watercolor but with those acrylic paint um, it like didn't give me any like nice gradients that I would like so for gradients it's better to use watercolor so this is the result when you are painting with watercolors you can create a soft gradients between two different colors. You can mix different colors from like from different sides and uh, create like cool effect. And this is why I like watercolor for this kind of effect. And you can mix different kind of paint uh, here in your projects. For example, you can paint the background this way and then when you need to add some details, you can transfer your design after it dries and fix it. So you can transfer the design and paint all the smaller details with acrylic paint and then add some stitches and it's gonna be really cool. So for the envelope, I'm gonna add some stitches for the edges and I'm gonna use this color. So I'm gonna use this plus color so it will create a nice edge for the envelope. So it's gonna be like a border. I think it's gonna look nice. Yeah, for those areas you will need smaller brush I'm gonna switch to the smaller brush here and I can use the paint from my brush here let me know guys if you already tried painting on the fabric and which kind of paint did you use and maybe you have some other experience do you like this kind of experiences at all so but if you don't like, you can um, just stitch it all with a thread. So it's also gonna look cute. But for those big areas, I know you will probably you probably need to use some long stitches or fill it with stamp stitch. And also, if you don't like to paint and draw. You can buy an embroidery kit, it's going to be available on my Etsy shop soon and right now uh, you can join for monthly kits on my Patreon and you can get all three embroidery designs that I'm creating in February. So you will get this design in your kit and also I, I stitched it recently another version of this uh, design on lavender fabric so it looks like this <clears throat> and also there is going to be one more design for crocuses so you can get all three designs on Patreon in February And I will probably also extend this design for March because I need to catch up with uh, sampler book uh, project. So I'm gonna be making video tutorial for that because I was going to make a chain stitch video tutorial 
during these months and I probably, I already see that I will probably will not be able to do such amount of work in one month so I will extend it for one more month and yeah that's it for this part as you can see you you actually don't need a lot of paint here <laughs> so okay we are ready to add some dark violet color and fill all the rest area okay i will add just this and i hope it's going to be enough let's see i will add some more So it's going to be easier for this section and for this section I'm going to switch to the smaller brush. So uh, regarding the kids, I forgot to say that I already tried uh, printing on fabric. So the fabric for your embroidery kits, starting from this month, um, it's going to be printed. And this background that I'm painting right now is also it's already going to be printed on fabric. Uh, for the kit for this project so it's a great news for those who doesn't like painting like this because before I, I was I had to find a special fabric color for my embroidery kits and I was transferring all the patterns by hand my mom is helping me right now to prepare all my kids and when we have a lot of orders and uh, we just physically can't <laughs> paint everything uh, by hand so I decided to try uh, painting on fabric and my mom is going to receive the fabric uh, today or tomorrow and once she receives it, uh, she will cut it and um, put it in your kit boxes. So she already um, she already prepared all the rest uh, supplies like threads and needles and everything in the boxes right now. So she just waiting for the fabric. And I will ask her to send me uh, samplers from those fabrics. So I'm really excited to see how it looks like. But I already received um, the pictures from the manufacturer, uh, the printing service. And um, on those pictures, uh, the fabric looks really nice. So. I only saw it on pictures, but I didn't see it in real life, like, you know, it's, it can be <laughs> different things. So, as you can see, when I'm painting, I already, like, it covers all the lines which I made for with um, heating erasable gel pen. So, I will probably need to add those lines on top of the paint when it dries 
so I will see clearly well where are my stamps or all the rest so I'm gonna be stitching and I probably don't see it because I use the, the same uh, pen, uh, pen color Yeah, probably because of that too. And you know, it doesn't smell like it smells okay. So if you like painting, you can play with this and make some t-shirts probably. Yeah, I will probably make some t-shirts for myself too. Yeah, the reason why I put the fabric in the hoop so this way I can make the fabric flat and stretched and it's really perfect for for drawing so you need to do the same way too if you going to do painting like that it's better paint to do painting um, with the fabric placed in the hoop Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the result, as you can see. I was able to paint all the places. Let me show you closer. So, this is the result which I got and yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. So all the like unperfect edges, you can fix it with your stitches. So again, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be stitching the border for the envelope using this color. And maybe the, I will choose a darker one. This color is pretty dark, so I know if this will be suitable. I think that this one is going to be more suitable for everything, yeah? So once I will get the fabric, I will post in Instagram, so you will see all the materials you will get uh, in this uh, kit. And yeah, look at my nails. <laughs> it's all due to tradition. So... I'm gonna be waiting for it to, to dry and once it's dry I'm gonna be start stitching so I will set up the next uh, live stream for tomorrow and we'll see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye